No promotion chasing or relegation fighting for either side here, but they produced a real cracker at the Hive, and Michael Gashgold midway through the first half was the only thing separating the sides at the break. No doubts at all as to whether Alex Lacey manhandled John Akindi here, but make your own mind up whether the offence occurred outside the penalty area. Akinde stepped up to double Barnett's lead, his 20th goal of an impressive campaign. Yeovil were back in it when Matt Dolan just beat the dive of Barnett keeper Jamie Stevens 10 minutes into the second half. But when Akinde burst through to score his sixth goal in five games, you'd be forgiven for thinking Yeovil's challenge was over. But within a minute, Nathan Smith had made a rare move forward as a corner to head in just a second ever goal in his nine year career. 3 2 became 3 3 when Francois Zoko showed plenty of composure in the Barnett penalty area. Good feet more than matched by a precise finish, and Barnett was shell shocked. And there's no time like five minutes into added time to complete the comeback on loan Bournemouth striker Harry Cornick, the hero. Terrific entertainment and a first win in six league games for Yeovil.